For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney here at Mobile World Congress Americas in Los Angeles with Derek Peterson, CTO of Boingo. And Derek, it's nice to be in your hometown and it's uh, nice to be using this convention Wi-Fi. I know you guys were a big part of the deployment. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure can. Great to have you here, here by the way. Uh, you know, the deployment was an effort by Cisco and our, myself and the Wireless Broadband Alliance, or Boingo. Um, and one of the key things was we've been doing this last year. We did it here at Mobile World Congress Americas when it was up in San Francisco. We had about 70% of the people connecting. We're getting great results, even better than that this time that we're going to share later. And of course, you know about our uh, doing the Passpoint connection uh, for Mobile World Congress Barcelona. So tell us a little bit more about Passpoint. I know it's gone through some iterations, but uh, for people who aren't familiar with it, you know, I wasn't, but I got it on my phone ahead of the show, and I've really had a great experience with it. But maybe tell us a little bit more about what it is. Yeah. So Passpoint is a simple, secure, and seamless way to be able to connect your cell phone automatically to Wi-Fi. And what it does is it uses the same credentials that you use on your cellular network, the SIM credentials, to be able to connect. And so most of the carriers here in the United States have enabled that on your phone. So when you buy a phone, it's already ready to go. All we have to do is broadcast their PLMN ID, uh, which is basically the network identifier, in the Wi-Fi network, and then you're just automatically getting on. So what is the adoption of Passpoint? Like I mentioned, you know, I've known about it since I started talking to you years ago, but I've never actually activated it. So is there widespread use? There is now. It took a while for the, for the like any new innovation, for the handsets to have it, for the network equipment to have it, and then, of course, for all the carriers to adopt it and all the different operators to adopt it. Now, uh, like I said, most of them have adopted. We're seeing greater than 70% of the people who, connect, who come and connect at the show are connecting via Passpoint. So the adoption here in the United States is phenomenal. So tell me a little bit more about this deployment. As you walk around the facility, there's APs everywhere. And like I said, it's been really, in the context of convention Wi-Fi, this has been very good experience for, for users. So as you look to connect a building like this, what do you, what do you have to do? What's your process like from the time you assess the, the building to actually stand the network up? You know, one of the key points of, of creating a network anywhere is understanding the audience that's coming in and then the coverage and the capacity that you have to build your network for. So once you've nailed that down and that's what we do really well, we design, we build, we launch, and then we manage and, and optimize our networks. Once you've got that down, then it's really just about making sure that you're taking advantage of uh, the new technology like Passpoint to get people onboarded onto that. And once you start getting people onboarded on, then they just it's seamless for them, they can connect, it's a great experience, and then they start realizing that the network's just happening and it's working behind the scenes, and they're able to go about and live their connected life. So you mentioned kind of knowing your users as you're planning a network. So this network is symmetrical up and down, right? Mm -hmm. So what is that uh, meant to service in terms of the users? I assume, you know, generated content. I've certainly been taking videos and putting them on Twitter at some of the booths, yeah. but is that kind of what the logic was? Yeah, definitely. You know, one of the key things that we're seeing is it used to be when we designed networks in most of our venues, we were focused on download more than we were upload. What we're finding is upload is just as important as download anymore because everybody's using Instagram and, and Facebook and uploading uh, content just as often as they're downloading content. You'll see that uh, very high in stadiums. So when we design stadiums nowadays, we focus just as much on upload as we do download. All right, well, I really appreciate you sharing some of the details of the project here and look forward to some of the more fine-tuned analysis after the fact. All right, good. We'll be happy to share it with you. Thank Thanks, you. Derek.